Should I do the tech test? Because I'm scared. <laughs> Hi fairies and welcome back to my channel. It's Larasia Andrea. So in this video today, I'm giving you guys all the tea. All the tea about this new waterproof lace spray that I have found. And I even do a water test with me applying water to the wig to show you guys if it's going to hold up or if it's gonna, you know, fall off my head. So if you guys are interested, then stay tuned for the rest of the video. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My line busy, take no calls. Feels like I don't have no flaws. Snakes in the grass, cut those off. Yo, squad shitty, my bro. All right, you guys, so jumping right into this video, this is the new Eben Wonder Lace Spray. So if you guys did not know, I already have a video up when I use these two beauties over here, the yellow and the red can. These are not new to my channel. I have been using these since I literally first introduced these to my channel and to you guys. I have not put them down. So when they introduced the black version, I was like, okay, sis, okay. So I'm actually gonna show you guys a comparison of both of these cans and the reason I picked up the red can is because both of these cans are described as extreme firm hold and I also want you guys to pay attention to the fine print 10 times hold on this can but if you guys notice on this can right here it definitely says 20 times hold for lace and they also added sweat resistant now whenever I introduce a product to my channel I always like to just read up on the directions see how they advertise the product and to just really see if the product does what they describe so I really gave this like the ultimate test when me and Nani used it for our quick weave video and honestly y'all first impressions this can did not disappoint the hold for it holding down our ball cap was insane and we used two ball caps so like with every lace spray or lace product review, I like to test it out on the back of my hand first. So I'm just gonna spray a little bit of this product on the back of my hand. And I will show you guys exactly how it looks right now. It's definitely a very thick consistency. And I know I told you guys when it came to the yellow can, this was like a super sticky consistency. And I kind of like this only underneath my lace and not really on top. So when it comes to this product, I'm very interested to see if I can put this product over top of my lace and how it's really gonna act and look. And I also wanna see how it's gonna act beneath my lace because it is a super, thick consistency now the back of the can just like the yellow in the red can says to blow dry the product on cool heat if you do choose to blow dry or you can let it air dry but I'm just gonna make this process so much quicker by just using my blow dryer on cool heat to blow dry the back of my hand I'm just gonna do my little finger test you can see that this product has a pretty good hold. It is very stringy. So that just tells me that I don't wanna have any product on my forehead when I put this product on because I can see that it definitely has like a sticky, stringy type residue. And I just see that going all the way left if I had makeup on my forehead. So just a little advice for you guys. If you do choose to use the black can, just make Make sure that your hairline is squeaky clean because I don't even want to see how this product is going to do over top of something like makeup. I'm going to be using a few other products as far as laying down my ball cap method because as I said I want to make sure that my hairline is free of oils or any product in general so the first thing I'm going to do is use this bold hold skin protectant and even though this does advertise to be a skin protectant if you look on the back of the bottle the first ingredient is alcohol. So instead of just using 99% alcohol, I just like to use the Bold Hold Skin Protectant as my alcohol. The next thing I'm going to do is use the Erica J Hold Me Down Skin Guard. Don't mind my struggle braids. Clearly, I need to get them redone. But I'm just going to put my hand to pull my hair back and spray me forehead. Now, this is no stranger to my channel either. I did use this in my updated quick weave video as well. And I'm gonna use this to gel back my baby hair. And I'm also gonna use this product to lay down my ball cap method today. So I'm gonna take this baby hair brush and then I'm just gonna start in the middle and put a little bit of product and just brush it back. 
and just do the same thing on my entire hairline but before I move on to the next section I am going to blow dry as I go now taking my wig cap I'm just going to put it on I'm just going to cut my ears out Taking this same bold toed liquid gold, I'm going to just apply it to my hairline and I'm also going to smooth it down with this wood stick. hairline is all intact and that's why I say I love these wig caps so much. I'm gonna try to see if I can find it on Amazon. I like them because when I put on that bold hold look at gold literally disappears and I can see my exact hairline. Just makes my life so much easier. And I just want to add that you should definitely make sure you guys are reading the instructions per product because even though the Wonderlay sprays say to blow dry on a cool heat, the bold Gold hold liquid gold spray says to blow dry on warm heat so that's just something to keep in mind when you guys are using different products I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry on warm heat until this entire hairline is dry my hairline is all dry so now I'm just going to cut the lace and just use my eyebrow razor to cut as close to the line of demarcation as possible now I just want to pause right here so every single time I cut at least about two to three inches I'm gonna take that same liquid gold and just put that on the line of demarcation and that wooden toothpick go in a downward motion until it just blends in seamlessly Now I'm going to apply my wig on camera for you guys using the new spray. I did go ahead and just cut the lace in different sections. I'm thinking that I want to do two layers of this spray. The directions say that it can go about two to three layers but today I'm feeling like I want to do two. So I'm just going to start to install this wig and just cross my fingers that I like the results. Okay, so I actually went ahead to let the bowl toad and the wonder lace melt together for about 15 minutes. And now I'm just going to cut the lace and we're gonna see how this melt is looking, honey. Now I went ahead and installed this wig and it just looks so natural. If you guys were wondering about this wig, this is actually my wig that I have with my first wigs. I made this wig back in like 2018 or so and I'm just bringing it back because I just love this wig so much. It's a 3C 4A texture and it seriously feels exactly like my hair. And the curl pattern is just mm, magnifique. I wanna see how the lace spray is gonna be holding up against water. This lace spray is sweat resistant, but it doesn't mean we can't put it to a water resistant, waterproof test as well. Now, I don't know if I wanna do the slick back look or if I wanna just do a poofy curly look in general, but I think we'll kinda just go with the flow of like how I'm feeling as we get through the entire wig. But I definitely want to wet this wig as a whole. I do have my water 
bottle and I'm just going to start to wet the hair obviously all the way up until I get to the top of the lace and that's going to be my ultimate test to see if this lace spray in conjunction with the bold hold is waterproof. Now I'm going to spray my hairline so that we all are very clear here how saturated I'm going to get this hairline. I'm just going to do like a lot, like a lot, a lot of water as if I was like taking a shower like so. Like it's like super duper saturated now. Right. So far I'm brushing. No movement is happening. These curls are so Beautiful. All right, so let me see. The wig is still nice and on. Literally, this looks like my hair. I was thinking that I want to diffuse it, but maybe I will still diffuse it because I want to see how that look is going to be. I'm going to spray this Jamaican black castor oil in the hair first, and then I'm most likely going to use this Honey Whip hydrating mousse. I really do like this. I feel like it hydrates curls very good as far as like natural curls. I'm not going to put too much of this because honestly this wig doesn't need any product at all but in the meantime while my hair is still wet and stuff I do want to style my baby hair so I'm going to go in with this go glueless lace in place foam gel it's the only foam gel that I use as far as doing any type of baby hair and I'm not going to use too much of this product my hair is dripping okay I said my hair like this wig is my hair but honey it looks like my hair period I'm going to put a little bit of this product Ooh. Ooh. and this also helps with keeping the lace down even though we are going to be putting a little bit of moisture to the lace yet again and I literally want to do like little small baby hairs like this because this is how I would do my natural baby hairs. I'm gonna take this lace spray one more time and just spray my hairline to add to that security. I'm gonna take some Jamaican black castor water and spray that in the hair. And this is just going to give it just a teensy bit of oily product to keep these curls nice and defined. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of this hydrating mousse and just put that in with my hands and just concentrate on raking that on the bottom of the wig because that's where I want the hair to be the most defined is on the ends. To finish up this video, I'm just going to use this diffuser and blow dry on low cool heat until I have the volume of this wig that I really want and my curls being nice and defined. Say I'm not sensitive, but I can 
Okay guys, so that concludes this entire video. I just have no words for how strong this wig feels secure on my head. I feel like the wording on this is just that. It is 20 times the extra hold because as you guys knew before, I was using the yellow can as well as the red can. And I feel like when I use both of those cans together, that's what was giving me that 20 times hold. I'm so happy they came out with the black can because this is literally like the yellow and the red can had a flipping baby. I love the way that my wig came out. I already knew this wig was just bomb obviously because <laughs> I made it but just the light baby hair the way that you can still see my curls defined but it's still big and airy and just ah this literally looks like my hair and my hair texture when I did have my hair long and I would wear it in a curly style just like this one. I wanted to get the best review possible. I wanted to see how well this product held up against water because it does advertise itself as being sweat resistant. Moving forward, definitely I am doing my bald cap method using the Bold Hole Liquid Gold because it's not a messy formula and it does a really good job with holding down products. And this is definitely sweat proof, but also borderline waterproof. But I feel like with these two together, this is what makes the products waterproof. You guys saw me use water on my entire hairline because I needed to wet my hair to get these beautiful defined curls and the wig did not even budge. It's still like when I say secure, secure on my head. So Yo, I will leave the link for this lace spray down below. I know I didn't really leave it last time, but I found it on Amazon. So I will leave the link to this down below. And one last thing that I want to tell you guys, they do offer more products in the newer black can. This actually says it's 400 milliliters on the bottle. And this one advertises as 420 milliliters on the bottle. And honestly, I'm going to tell y'all, I went and stocked up. I got multiple cans of the bigger spray I have multiple cans of the little spray and they even have a medium size between the bigger cans and the smaller cans but I didn't get that one because I just felt like I didn't need it I literally have five of these and ten of these so I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching can't wait to see you guys in my next one and bye guys